Hey guys, this is the New to Books channel, and today I'm going to be doing a tag video. Uh, this is a rather old tag. I think it's at least eight months old, if not a year. But uh, I'm a little new to the to the group, and uh, I know a couple of my friends that I watch and subscribe to on here are a little new too, and um, they've recently done it, and uh, I think. Uh, I liked watching it, and I think I got to know them just a little bit more, so uh, just so you can kind of get to know me a little bit more, I think I'm going to do this tag too. Uh, this is the Seven Daily Sins of Reading tag, so uh, without further ado, we'll just go ahead and get into it. Uh, the first one is Greed, and it is uh, your most expensive book and least expensive book. Uh, we'll go with the easy one first, and it's least expensive. Um, that would be Afu. Um, this book uh, I got for free uh, just so happens this was my mom's book is from the 30s and uh, it's actually one of my favorite books so it was free uh, most expensive books uh, two two of those basically you go either way with it uh, this is kind of cheating but uh, this book right here was uh, a little over $300 it is the instruction manual to a shotgun that I own um, going a little different with it uh, would be my comic book collection. Um, not necessarily one book, extremely expensive, but all of them together, quite valuable. Um, I have a, a unique comic book collection, whereas uh, I collect the deaths of all superheroes. Um, this is probably just about 100 bucks or so right there with those three. Uh, those are the ones I have out that I, I put on display. Uh, my really nice ones, uh, I have some very nice uh, mint to near mint originals that are uh, deaths of some uh, rather well-known uh, superheroes. I uh, keep those uh, away from air and away from sun and uh, fingerprints and oil and all that good stuff. So, uh, the second one, Raph, uh, the author I have a love-hate relationship with, and that would be... Uh, Douglas Copeland. Uh, it's a couple of his books here. Uh, I really like his writing style. Uh, I, I really like the topics of his books. I'm going to be doing some book reviews on them later. But what I don't like is they all tend to be just uh, rehashes of the same idea over and over and over for some reason. It's kind of like, you know, I, would, I really wish he would kind of get a new idea. Um, gluttony. Uh, Books I've devoured over and over with no shame. Uh, those will be I have two of those. Uh, the first one I've already shown. Afu. Um, the next one would be a little different. It is Jeff Cooper, Principles of Self Defense. It's a very small book. Um, it's not really for everybody, but uh, I read that at least once a year. It's just really good to uh, get your mindset. I, I guess uh, it's just kind of like a keeping view of your surroundings, you know, not being taken advantage of, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, no real big reason I like that book. I just read it all the time. Um, Sloth, uh, the book I've neglected due to laziness. Uh, that's an easy one for me. I've had this book for years, and I still have not read it. It is uh, a little big. It is... Uh, Stephen King, Under the Dome, and I really like this book, and I'm really into it. I just, I just can't get myself to read it for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe I just need to sit down and make myself do it. Uh, Pride, the most uh, book I have that I talk about or carry around to make myself look uh, smart or intelligent. Um, basically, that's not uh, any particular book for me, but maybe a, a type of book. This is what Shields Ladder. It's by Greg Egan. This is a uh, speculative fiction. It is basically around uh, theoretical physics and uh, quantum mechanics and quantum uh, mechanics theories. And uh, to read books like this or other ones by similar authors, you kind of have to know somewhat about quantum mechanics, theoretical physics, and things like that. So. Uh, I, I like to think I know a little bit about it, but in reality, I probably don't know near enough as I should. But 
uh, I, I do like those books, and uh, I feel like they uh, make me look smart. Where, uh, but uh, I'm basically just fooling myself because I don't think anybody else knows what they are. Um, lust, uh, the attributes of characters, male or female, that I find attractive. Uh, this is really easy for me. Uh, one author in general defines this the best for me. It is the pollen characters. Uh, for male, for me, I, I, it would be uh, Rant. Uh, I, I, for some reason, I just really like him. You know, he has jet black teeth for um, chewing tar. Uh, he has kind of an in-your-face attitude, almost, a don't care about society, will do things his way. Uh, you know, he just takes things for what they are. He takes over things. He does what he wants, and... For some reason, I just, you know, I just, I kind of want to emulate myself kind of like that. For I don't know, I just, it, it draws me into him. Uh, female um, would be Brandy Alexander, Invisible Monsters. I've recently done a review on this, and uh, I really find this uh, female character attractive, very attractive. Um, not only was she uh, a, a model, a fashion model at one time, uh, she has certain uh, attributes or certain things about her personality I find very attractive. And then the fact that I, I, I find her hurt and damaged uh, and uh, somewhat needing to be taken care of really draws me in. Uh, I kind of like to take care of people and that really kind of makes me like her even more even though she, she, she you know, states that you know, she's got everything under control and she doesn't need it and she knows what she wants and she's living a new life. and. Uh, that even just kind of adds a little bit more to it for me. Uh, last for me, envy. Books I would like to receive as gifts. Uh, basically, this is any type of foreigner book. Um, this right here would be the UK import of Raw Shark Text. Uh, any kind of book that people give me from another country or anything like that, or uh, any books from other countries that's rather thought-provoking, I like that. I, it's kind of a... Um, collection kind of thing uh, whereas I really like to collect comic books I really hate for people to give me comic books because I like to pick those out myself and get the correct perfect one uh, I do like uh, anything uh, people might get from overseas and give me book wise like that it's very enjoyable for me and uh, I hope y'all got a little information from this and I'll be talking with y'all later have a great one